Uh, those that don't know this thingy, this is called Codex. It's a project management software, like website uh, that's focused on game development. It's fairly similar to something like Trello or anything uh, else like this, um, but it has like the concept of of cards. So they build it like a card deck. Each task is a card, and you can move it between decks, and you can move into your hand. Uh, and your hand is like what you're, you're, you're working on right now and stuff like that. And I really like it. And yeah, it's very visual. Uh, you can change like the... Um, you can change the images to some of the default ones. Or you can upload whatever you like. Uh, stuff like that. I really like it. Uh, they also ha have open decks. So you can share your game development with people uh, like Trello public boards same thing so you can go to uh, paste you can go to open.codex.io uh, slash wormsgate and you can see all my cards and stuff uh, and you can also just go to open codex and see a lot of other uh, projects that use them including their own internal one uh, I'm also on their Discord, and I, they are very friendly folks. Uh, you you can you can uh, do stuff like they are like bug reports and stuff. One of the uh, cool features is actually Discord integration, so you can have their bot in your in your Discord, and when you update some cards, it will um, it will pop up on Discord. Let me show you this. Let me open Discord. Discord. Uh, I don't, I'm not using the Discord integration any, uh, yet because I don't have anything to show, but once Wilmsgate will uh, get to the point where uh, I open the public community and stuff, we'll also have it on the Discord. Uh, yeah, I built I build this, uh, this board a, a while ago. Uh, game dev, yes, game dev, Codex, and let, let me make this bigger, uh, let's do zoom. So this is their Discord, and it's really cool. Uh, yeah, the official roadmap is kind of new. Uh, so they have bugs, and you can... Decky is the is the official bot, and you can you can post a bug and then people can or not only a bug only f also feature request and people uh, can use the reactions uh, to vote on it and then it re it recorded back so the bots are not only post things to Discord but also bring back from Discord to your deck so you can track bugs like that and stuff. So yeah, that's it. So uh, and also, if you want to join our Discord, uh, which right now you um, mostly hosts RPG sessions, but in the future it's going to also be um, the the place for Wormsgate development. Let me actually make a channel. Yes, now we 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 now have a channel for Wormsgate. So you can join the Discord, um, which is isol.me slash Discord. They don't have a Discord command. Let, let's make a Discord command. Let's do a Stream Elements tutorial. <laughs> so we go into Stream Elements uh, dashboard. And we go into... The freedom to listen offline. As, as you can hear, I'm using Spotify uh, free version with the ads, but that's fine. I, I, I don't mind. Ah, there is nothing private here. The, the only private thing you may see is the admin button for staff members. But I won't show you that. So chat commands. 
Uh, custom commands, uh, time merch lurk, let's do a new command, and this code, join the ISIL, let's make community, this code, so, That works. Uh, we can also do like a social media. Um, oh, let's open. Let's do the music command as well because it's actually relevant. Because that's the actual music we are hearing. Cool, we did that. So let's go back to Codex. And what I wanted to do is um, talk about the like goals for today. So if you remember last time, uh, we built this dungeon thingy, um, and we had a very a, a bit of a problem with pathfinding. Uh, I solved it after the stream. You know what? Let's start by showing how um, uh, how I solved pathfinding. So this dungeon thing is a BSP, and a BSP is a type of tool. And I think my camera is lopsided a bit. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and a BSP is a tool in Unreal Engine that let you basically build. Um, prototype levels very easily uh, you can do most of the thing you can do with just uh, 3d modeling very easily like uh, extruding and editing uh, vertices and stuff like that but bsps doesn't have actual like um physics property in the game like if i run this now it will be fine uh where is the run button run in an in a window yeah so you see the the, the what do you call it the character stands on the on the floor and that's fine but anything else i'll, I'll try to do such as pathfinding won't work with a bsp so that's one thing now I can go and duplicate this um, just by copying and pasting it. No, not really. Um, um, we did that little thing. We, we started a new semester in, uh, in school and um, I was occupied with that. I did some blender things. Uh, I, I played some games. Um, so so no. Um, now the BSP we are turning. We are turning into a mesh. Um, here, where is it? Uh, create static mesh. That's what we are doing, and we are saving it in main and assets maybe and we call it like dungeon setup static mesh and we create it and that's a static mesh and we can take the the bsp and remove it and now we have a static mesh but this static mesh still doesn't have volume so if i run the game it will fall down until it it hit the bsp what do we need to do is go to the static mesh itself open the editor and we need to determine the collision and by, uh, we are doing that by taking itself we're going to go to assets and take the oh i see that i have an old one uh, so dungeon static mesh that's the old one this is the new one uh, let's save all what is the uh, um and we put it into the 
uh, complex mesh? Yeah, into the, corp the, the complex mesh. And then you need to define... Um, use complex collision as simple. And you save it. And now I also need uh, the... Uh, nav mesh bounds volume as we did before and I will go to the top and I will I will expand the volume to cover everything um, P um, and now it still doesn't work I tr I'm trying to remember what I did for it to work. You see that the, the character now uh, actually stands on the floor, so the collision works. Um, why does the nav mesh not working yet? I don't remember. It worked last time. <laughs> uh, oh, it, it does work. It actually works at uh, the P. Uh, wasn't um, wasn't pressed. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay. I need, I need to lower it a bit. So what you see here is the actual nav mesh. Yeah. So what you see here is the actual nav mesh. Uh, the green area is the areas where the character can walk on. And now if I press, it works. Hooray! So this is what I actually figured out by the end of, of uh, last stream. Uh, and then I deleted everything because I need to continue to work on the BSP and not um, and not use that. But you know what we are going to do? We are going to save this as, save current as um, level one um, level one pass finding. Yes, yes, uh, um, Senka said uh, the, the green is the, the nav for the point and click thing. Yes, it is. Okay, I saved it as a new level. I will delete the BSP. This will be just for testing um, the pathfinding in camera and stuff. Um, what did I want to do? I wanted to like reduce this. save so in levels we have the what what is this oh it may be it may be the uh, source control thing um, I actually forgot to actually forgot to sync this so let's do this now. Um, nav mesh working. Push. That's it. Um, maybe it doesn't. It's not related. I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, it, it disappeared. Those are the, the source control um, symbols. Now I know. Uh, and by the way, if you are... Oh, I forgot to uh, increase the zoom level. So let's do that as well. 1.3. Yep. That's better. So uh, if you don't know... Um, Unreal has built-in source control. Um, Git is is a Git uh, a better version technically, uh, but as long as you have uh, Git installed and you set up the the repository beforehand, it it it's fine. Uh, and as as you saw, I'm using um, GitHub Desktop, and it's very very easy. You don't need any commands or anything. Okay, so we have the nav mesh working. 
that's a bit of a tech def from last time. Uh, what are we going to do uh, today? Uh, what's this? Oh, nice. That's, that's a nice thing. You have conversation here if you actually have multiple people working on the... If you actually have multiple people working on the project, you can like write comments and have conversations, stuff like that. It's, it's cool. So I mark this card as blocked because I basically don't know how to make this work. I tried for like an hour uh, last time, not on stream. Um, and I'm going to leave it because it's super not important right now. Super duper not important. Um, so let's see. Uh, game system. Devs. What did I mark? Oh, I removed the milestone so I don't really have those. Uh, build build the entrance in engine that's not important for n right now project structure loading screens data active party the active party is the main character pawn it changes based on the okay that's something I could implement oh interesting maybe not now level select isometric oh Set isometric camera to follow active party. That was done, actually. <laughs> I did it. Uh, battle screen. Battle screen. That's exactly what I want to work on today. So we put it in the end. What's... Oh, that's a milestone thing. And that's a hand thing. So we move it to the hand. I have, a, I have this thing in my hand. Battle screen. Camera change position and zoom on combat start. UI switches, maybe the UI will be for, uh, forked to uh, another card since I'm not going to work on it right now. So, uh, how do I edit? Edit. Uh, we'll move this to, an, to, a, to a new card. We call it UI. Um, yeah, but since there is no UI at the moment, we won't do it. Uh, UI switch from controllers into combat. Um, I don't know yet. We'll have to figure it out today. Okay, so this is just a new card. UI switch from exploration to combat. Uh, this is not even a battle screen. Camera change position on zoom and start combat. This will be the task today. The first task. We'll see what we want to do later. So, we can turn off the pink light. Let's add... I think the zoom is too, is too zoomy. Let's do point 0.1, point 0.2. <clears throat> so let's make a mob. Let's make a mob and do like a trigger thing. Uh, I don't even have to have anything. Um, geometry. Yes, thank you. We'll have a sphere. You know what? I want to try something else if, if we are working on... <laughs> if we are working on, um, on, on pathfinding and AI and stuff, let's try and make this mob 
Um, so let's delete this. Let's try to make the mob like patrol. Let's make it a challenge because I have no idea how to do it. So we'll do a card. We'll have a new card um, in devs. Um, call it AI, not AI, we call it um, mob free roam, call it mob free roam, we will tag it as AI, it's on me obviously, uh, and we'll save it, and we'll take it to the hand, Mm, it didn't come to the hand. Come to the hand. Okay, that's weird. Uh, and we mark... What's this? Oh, that. Okay, so we take both of those. Change deck, move, milestone, hero card. Uh, I just want to... And we say that we are working on this. 